Hey, what's up guys, it's S2G and welcome back to another episode of my Barcelona career mode series. And in this episode, we're going to be playing four games. The first one is in the Champions League against Olympiacos, then against Levante, then against Malaga, and then a game against Granada. So let's get into this game against Olympiacos where I'm playing Dybala up front as striker and Messi and Neymar supporting him. And I'm playing Dybala as striker because... You know, his natural position is striker, and I prefer Messi on the wing just because of his pace. He's just too quick. And as you can see in this clip right here, Messi gets the ball before the half line. Uh, yeah, behind the half line, as you would say. And Messi just sprints past the whole defense. And look at that for a finish from Lionel Messi. That was just magical from him, the finish. A really excellent finish from him. And in seven minutes, we're already one it up. Through the, through, that was the move was started actually through a counter. And then in the 45th minute, we had another chance to double up our lead. But Messi couldn't get his shot on target. But a great chance though from Messi again. And as you can see in the second half, I decided to bring off Dybala. And bring on uh, Pedro. And you know, to see how Pedro performs. And I'm putting Pedro on the right wing and Messi as striker. And also, I'm bringing on Iniesta for Xavi. You know, to just bring some legs in midfield and as you can see right here in the 48th minute we had another good chance here as Iniesta dribbled past two players and shoots but a shot is then saved by the keeper. Good chance for him though to score in his first goal in the Champions League but then in the 50th minute we had a good chance here as Neymar drags three defenders towards him but then plays the ball to Messi and Messi shoots and Messi scores so 50 minutes gone it's Barcelona 2 and Olympiacos nil. Messi's playing as captain because uh, actually, when Xavi went off, Messi was Messi was given the captain's armband, and as you can see in the 59 minute, Messi had a chance to get his hat trick, but decides to play the ball to Neymar, who whose touch was just miserable, and he couldn't score. And Neymar hasn't actually scored a single goal in the series, which is pretty disappointing. And as you can see right here, Matic got injured. That means we need to bring him off, and I brought on Pogba for him. I hope the injury isn't too serious, because we'll be losing a quality player. But then in the 85th minute. Neymar had the ball right here, he played it to Messi who was in a great position but his shot was just pathetic and he, he couldn't get his hat trick but that doesn't matter really, it's already 2-0 up and there's no way they're going to come back. We actually get, got another chance here as Messi played the ball in from a corner to Iniesta but Iniesta shot hit the post but that doesn't matter here um, because we have beaten Olympiacos comfortably, a 2-0 result and as you can see right here, Nemanja Matic has been, it will be out for like 3 weeks which isn't too bad. And as you can see, the Champions League group stage table, we are in first place with three points. And Dortmund are in second, which is one point, which is obviously good to see. I'll show you guys the league table right in a moment. And there it is, guys. We are in second place with nine points. We are four points above Madrid, who are in eighth position. And as, as well as four points above Atletico, uh, who are in seventh position. And really good to see that these two teams have dropped points. But I think Valencia are a team that could challenge for the title. The way things are going, they will, I think, because they have won all three games they've played. But really, sh it's really, really bad to see that Madrid and Atletico aren't performing. There's no competition now from you know the Spain's big three. It's, it's only like Barcelona versus Valencia currently, but it's just three games in. Let's see what happens at the end of this episode. And as you can see, we did have the first chance of this game as the ball falls to De La Feu, who shoots. The goal was open, though he could have, you know, maybe just squeezed the ball in, but the defender makes a good block. And guys, Messi was rested for this game, but, you know, we couldn't do anything without Messi. That that means it's time to bring Lionel Messi on for this game. And, you know, let's see what can we do. And also, I'm bringing on Rakitic for Mascherano. You know, just include some, you know, depth to the midfield, some creativity. Because I know that Levante are going to park the bus, so we need to get a goal sooner or later. And as you can see here, we do have a chance here. It's Pedro. Pedro plays the ball to Messi here. Messi from the right wing. Messi's cutting and it's Lionel Messi. Can he score, guys? Yes, he can. What a goal from Lionel Messi. You know, the, the amount of times I've already said this has been it's a lot of times because, you know, Messi's been scoring so many goals and now he has another chance to score as Messi shoots. But his shot, you know, I think the shot rebounded from the keeper and then hit the post. Unlucky for him. But now he's years again, Messi. She shoots and his shot goes above the post. Above the crossbar, actually, and that's the end of this game. Again, Messi saved us from you know just getting a draw and a wonder wonderful play from Lionel Messi to get us that uh, win. And now we have a game against Malaga. In real life, we did draw this fixture, so I hope we don't draw it. You know, get a draw in this game right now. We are playing away from home, and I think this is going to be an interesting game because Malaga. You know, if they if it's their day, they can be a really tough opposition, and they do have the first chance of this game. If the ball falls to Samuel. It's still Samuel, it's still Samuel here and he now is actually avoiding so many defenders and then this happened. I, I just couldn't believe what I saw. 
Uh, I think one of the players actually try attempted a shot, but his shot was off target, and this uh, I think that was Amrabat who scored. He just put his knee in between, and yeah, that that's what exactly that's exactly what happened, and the ball just went in. A really weird goal. But guys, we weren't gonna give up here in the fifth, sixth minute of this game. Messi was trying to bring us back into this game, but his shot was deflected by the defender. And then in the 28th minute here, Iniesta with a great opportunity to put us back into this game. It's Iniesta who shoots, and he does score a great goal from Andres Iniesta. He doesn't score too many goals, but when he does, they are important. It's Barcelona 1, Malaga 1. Now, guys, can we sneak in a goal? But now they are on the attack as the ball falls to Recio. Now it's Duda who shoots, but what a save from uh, Bravo. Brilliant stuff from him. 44 minutes. It's basically now the end of this game. Actually, I thought there would be more attacks, but fortunately, we couldn't produce any more, you know, attacks. And because of that, the game ended in a one old draw. We have dropped our first points, guys. But now we do have a game against Granada. Uh, uh, at home, obviously. We're playing at the Camp Nou. Sunny day. Let's see what we can do as the ball falls to Paulo Dybala. He plays it to Lionel Messi. Yeah, Lionel Messi goes past one like he wasn't there. And he shoots and he scores with his right foot. Fantastic goal from Lionel Messi. It just took him 40 minutes to score a wonder goal. A great goal from Lionel Messi. And now, guys, it's time to bring Messi off because I'll be needing him for our next game, which will be a Champions League game, I think, against Anderlecht. So I'm just giving Messi some rest. And um, you're bringing Neymar on, who I had benched for this game. And as you can see right here, we have a chance here as the ball falls to Paul Pogba. It's still Pogba. What will he do? He decides to cross the ball into Pedro. Who look at that for a header, right? That's probably the best header I've ever scored on FIFA. Basically, all my career mode series has definitely just topped it all. But this was just amazing. The cross from Pogba was amazing. And oh, that header was just beautiful. And with this angle, you'll have a look at it in a, bet in a better way. Just look at that. That was just perfect from Pedro. Wonderful stuff from him. And 64 minutes gone. It's 2 0. But now we have another chance here as the ball falls to Pedro, who's having a great game. He plays it to Rakitic, Rakitic plays it to Dybala. Dybala goes past two plays and shoots, but his shot is saved by the keeper. Great chance for, from him, though. And he's been playing quite well for us. He did score a very crucial goal. I think that was against Villarreal, and he's performing well for us. And have a look at this, guys. We're still in second place with 16 points, but Valencia do have... Uh, only they, they're only above us because of goal difference. But the surprising thing is Madrid still are in six and they're like seven points behind us. Though Atletico have covered the ground up, they're just four points behind us. But really disappointed with Madrid. I thought they'll be up there, you know, challenging for the title with us. But I just hope that you know this continues so that we can have an easy way just to win the league. And as you can see, guys, in the next episode, we'll have games against Rayo Vallecano, Borussia Dortmund. And we'll also have, I think I missed one game there. I think that was against Anderlecht, yeah. Apart from that, guys, that's the end of this episode. And I'll see you guys later.